it's time for some more early Madden 24 content. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of the player likeness updates for Madden 24, the new equipment that was added, the updated relocation uniforms, and more. This video is presented by the EA Creator Network as they did allow me to get my hands on the game early to record this. And keep in mind, I am playing on a slightly earlier build of the game than what is going to be releasing, so it is still technically a work in progress and some minor things can change. One of those things, in fact, you'll see in this video are the overalls for the players. These are not the right updated overalls, so don't freak out. Now, right out the gate, we got to show Austin Eckler. They finally got his player likeness in the game. I know people are happy about that. His teammate, Derwin James, got a player likeness update as well. He used to have the dreads last year. He cut him off, so this is more up to date with what he's currently looking like. Another big name charger, Justin Herbert, got a much needed player likeness update. He looks so much better. We're going to compare to last year. Just look how much better his face looks, and most importantly, his hair. They got him with the real hair textures now, finally, making him look good. Another player who desperately needed a player likeness update was Kyler Murray. He looks so much better now. We're going to show you last year. He was still on his rookie face scan, so this one looks a thousand times better. And of course, the cover boy, Josh Allen, was going to get a slight update as well. Nothing too major with him. We're going to show you the before and after. They did take the eye paint off, but the hair and the face, they changed it a little bit. Nothing too major, but you got to update your cover boy. Also, you'll notice with the new player skeletons, the bodies are a little different. Once again, the pads are kind of back to being a little bit bigger than they were last year, not as small. And as we're talking about that, we got to also mention that Fred Warner's face is finally in the game. The best linebacker now has his likeness. Jalen Hurts also received a minor player likeness update, kind of like Josh Allen. Nothing too major here, but we'll show the before and after. They added the cap. The face slightly different, nothing too major, but you got to make sure your top players are looking right. And here's another really cool thing. They put Aiden Hutchinson's signature eye paint in the game, which I think is cool. He wears this in real life, so it's nice to see those little touches represented in the game. Now we're going to take a look at some of the rookie player likeness. They don't have all these guys in the game yet. Usually they come in an update or two after the game, but we got a few of the big names like Bryce Young, of course, the first overall pick. We've got CJ Stroud, and I mean, the new scans, whenever the new rookies come in, they look so much better now because they're getting the best and most updated face scan technology. We've got Anthony Richardson. Again, these old overalls are not accurate because I'm on an earlier build. The actual rating update has not been applied to the build I'm on, so these guys are not rated this low. We've got Zay Flowers, another phenomenal looking face scan here. Like I said, all the rookies, they come in looking proper now. Unlike back in the day where like some guys didn't always look as good, the new guys now, they're looking spot on. We've got Devon Witherspoon, of the Seahawks. We've also got Will Levis of the Titans. We'll see if he takes over the starting job at some point of the season, but once again, player likeness, super on point here. Now, I also want to go over the body types because the new Sapien tech they put in, you'll notice that they kind of have the players looking a little bit better this year as opposed to last year, where some of the big guys like the linemen, they looked a little bit bottom heavy. They looked a little more beer belly-ish. So now you could see these guys. These guys are athletic too, and now they look more the part this year. Now, let's talk about equipment, and of course, we got to start with the Axiom helmet. I got so many comments about this over the last year. This is one of the most requested things that I have personally seen. We now have the Axiom helmet in the game worn by guys like Michael Parsons. I think maybe even Tony Pollard might wear it as well. I know a few people on the Cowboys wear it. Now you can have it in the game and equip it to any player you want. We got it on Justin Jefferson here just to kind of show it off. And here are some of the other different face masks you have for the Axiom helmet. We had the two bar. Now we've got the three bar right here. You've got the three bar jagged, which is just a slight variation. This one, in my opinion, looks pretty cool. Then you've got the three bar linebacker single. This one looks kind of menacing. I think this might be the one that Parsons wears. He wears one of these two, I would assume, since he's a linebacker. Then you've got the three bar linebacker jagged, which is just a slight variation, kind of like the other one we just looked at. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, they also added the Riddell VSR4 helmet, which is an older style helmet. I was surprised, but this wasn't actually in the game last year, so maybe it used to be and they brought it back. I'm not sure if players are currently wearing this. I don't think they can, but in a video game, especially if you're like messing around and editing older style players, you would maybe want the older style helmet. So it is back in the game. Another huge request was added, the baggy sleeves. We're starting to see a lot more players rep the baggy sleeves. You got them in the team color, the black and the white. We've got them on Justin Jefferson here. Just kind of giving you a look at what it's looking like. A lot of people in my comments have been asking for this over the past year. It's finally in the game for you to use and kind of have your player looking right on the field. They also added some new gloves, the Addy Zero 13 gloves. They got the secondary color, of course, the black and the white. We got them on Justin Jefferson here just for display purposes. So new pair of gloves for you Adidas fans out there. They also added another highly requested feature here, the hand warmer that is allowed to now be moved to the back. You don't have to just wear it in the front. Yes, you can move this to the back. I know some people might be saying, who cares about this? 
Let me tell you, a lot of people care about this. This is another one of those comments I've seen a ton over the past couple of years, and now you can do it. They also updated the color scheme for the Jordan 1 cleats, and I'll show you a comparison in a minute of what they looked like previously, but I like this color scheme much better. This looks like what people actually wear on the field a little bit more. This looks like real color schemes of Jordan 1 shoes that people would even wear. Now, this is what it previously looked like. This isn't really the best type of way to do the color blocking, in my opinion, on the Jordan 1 cleats. The DAC version is okay, but this is also a little bit different than how it's done this year you can see on Justin Jefferson here they look way better this year in my opinion they also added the Jordan 7 low so they already had the mids in the game we usually get a new pair of Jordan cleats added every year this year it looks like it's going to be the Jordan 7 low and they could potentially add more in updates because usually they do equipment updates throughout the year we also got some new Adidas cleats in the game. We got the Adizone 11 Turbo Low, and it's nice to see more Adidas stuff in the game because cleat-wise, there's not a whole lot of options for the Adidas cleats, so it's good to see some new things added there. We've got them on Alvin Kamara here who does rock Adidas on field, and they also added the Adidas Freak Ultra Mid. So again, if you're more of an Adidas guy, you like to be a little different and you don't want to rep Nike or Jordan all the time, you've got a couple extra options this year with some new Adidas cleats. Now here we're looking at some of the throwback classic jerseys that are in the game we got the Oilers which the Titans are going to be wearing this season and this is the updated jerseys as you can see it's the new jersey style from Nike so it's not an older uniform they did make updates we got the Seahawks one which is another one that looks amazing but not all of them are in the game just yet and not all of the alternate helmets are in the game yet either because most teams just kind of unveiled them recently so they'll probably come in one of the first updates of the year but some teams are going to still have their updated throwback classics in the game and these look really sick now let's take a look at the new reload location uniform so of course if you relocate to Houston you can bring back the Oilers you get the old school helmet and logo and this is what the uniform is going to be looking like right here and now we're just going to go through and show I believe it's all of the same teams and logos but they updated the uniforms and one of the biggest parts of the updates are the helmets the helmets look way better this year now unfortunately they're only displaying the home uniform they're not showing you the other options but each team has a home and a way and even an alternate option so you can mix and match and create nine different uniform sets between the three base sets but again we're just going to go through and give you an idea because one of the biggest changes are really the helmets here so you can see what all the new helmets are looking like and the away uniforms are kind of just the inverse for the most part of what the home looks like and then with the alternate there's some different variations there but they're looking a lot better this year they look a little bit more up to date to something that would be in the NFL in my opinion some of them still to me look a little bit too made up but most of them I think look like something that could be worn in the NFL so I think that was a much needed update for the mode I'm actually liking a good bit of these if I were to relocate a team and franchise I, I would definitely use some of these the dragons have one of the best helmets that is just a great job they did on that one right there gonna keep moving it along here just so we can keep this quick and you can get an idea of what all the different relocation options look like this year like I said I think about half of these like this one right here I like the golden eagles helmet I think that one's cool the huskies looks pretty cool as well they got a lot of decent options here for you to kind of experiment with and just create your own thing in franchise mode and at the end of the day that's all people want they just want more options to create and, and just make things their own and so this is kind of a step towards that the Nighthawks another one of the great helmets that was added I really like that concept right there we got the Orbits this isn't one I would personally be rocking with too much we got the Pioneers this one's all right not really a fan of brown on like uniforms though now the Redwoods I'm gonna be honest I don't care too much for this helmet something about it just throws me off a little bit now the River Hog this is another just phenomenal looking one I really like this scheme that one looks like something that would definitely be in the NFL we got the Sentinels and just another one I know I sound like a broken record but a lot of these helmets look absolutely sick I think they did a good job of course the Shamrocks that's an old favorite a lot of people have relocated with this team over the past we've got the Snowhawks another helmet that looks just really good in my opinion keeping it moving here we got the steamers so yeah it's just good to see these updates let me know which one do you think looks the best what relocation uniforms are your favorite there's a few that I definitely like a good bit I don't know if I could just pick one the Dragons is pretty sick the Tigers look pretty cool but it's a little too similar to the Bengals in my opinion so I don't know if I'd want to use it but that again was another good looking helmet got the Voyagers we're nearing the end here ending it off with the Wizards and once again look at that helmet that one is sick now if you want to see the return of superstar mode and what that's looking like this year make sure you check out this video right here on the screen